your boy, t 23 What's good everybody? It's your boy t 23 we're back with another video. Now today, today is the day we're going to be checking out the brand new Paradox Tower, man. It's very, very exciting. It's insane. There's also been a few changes to the game, not just the tower itself, but this is going to be a lot of fun. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, click that bell to get notified when I'm uploading, streaming, doing anything on the channel. Let's jump into it. Now, yes. They have added the brand new Paradox Tower. If you guys haven't, it's 2,500 coins. Make sure you do go and pick that up. It is absolutely amazing. Now, there is a lot of stuff going around, speculation that this is now the best tower in the game. I'm going to give it the best end game tower in the game, but it's not the best tower in the game. It doesn't do a whole lot for the first three upgrades for tier one to tier three are really really not that great like tier three is mid but like after that then it gets to be a lot better it goes up to 1100 damage on tier four but then tier five is absolutely incredible it has 6500 damage at attack speed of two which means it does 13,000 damage per second that's crazy you can also place down two of these towers, the para uh, the the Pandora's box. Why do I call it Paradox? I think it's because the pet is called that. Hold on, I, I have the pet also. I'm ninety percent sure. No, it is still Pandora. So we do have the pet also, which is kind of funny. Um, so it's called Pandora's box, which is just made after the that pet and so forth. So it's very very cool. It is going to be a lot of fun to use. Another set, another thing that's been updated besides a ton of bugs being fixed. They've added this setting here, so we can mute the pet sound. We can mute all sounds, sound effects, lobby music. So if I hit this, you're going to hear it for a second. The map music, which I'm going to have muted for now on because there's always a ton of copyrighted things going on now. Well, not a ton. There's been three maps that have copyright audio on it. So that feature being added is really, really good for the channel. Now, you can also check off animations particles and pets which would hide the pets you could either get rid of the animations or the particles like that's going around my box right here the little trophy i got which is really cool now the new pet is not amazing for the beginning it's really really not at all so the best way to explain this tower is it is phenomenal for fighting off the boss when it comes to the final set of waves that tower is amazing. It is arguably the best tower in the game for the end part of the game. It trumps Hydra. It trumps everything else when it comes to its damage. So seeing that, it's arguably a top 5, top 10 tower in the game currently. Now there's a ton of great towers. Hydra, we have Shadow Claw. There's so many new amazing towers. And another thing that did get changed, so make sure you guys do grind for the Golden Dragon. It got a buff. It got a huge buff, so now it does 3,750 damage multiplied by 2. So it does almost 8,000 damage. So it does roughly 7,500 damage per second, which is insane now. It is a really, really strong tower. You can also place down 5 of them. So that tower is now a top 10 tower in the game. Because you take... So I believe you could place... Five? Five is what I think it is. So if I take five, multiply 7,500 by five, that means that tower with all of them placed down does 37,500 damage per second with five maxed out. So make sure you guys are grinding for that 30 day login because it got an amazing upgrade and it just does really, really good. All right, let's switch up the plans. Instead of Shadow Realm, I want to come through and I want to do uh, Skylands on Impossible. We're going to try Skylands on Impossible. I haven't checked the leaderboard to see if it's done. I guess nightmare, not impossible, but y'all get what I mean. Okay, I think doing that's gonna be a pretty good. I think that's a good setup. Cause in case they do come across here, he's gonna he's gonna reach here anyways. He's gonna have this spot covered, but he's also gonna help up the front here, which is gonna be really really good for us. So I want to leave this area open a little bit. So we could do. It's 
You're gonna get all four down. Cause you have four Cyclops. Cyclops is so good, man. It's absolutely amazing. So now that we have these uh, these four down, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get something going. I'm trying to think, what's the max range on Hercules? I can't remember at the moment. Ooh, does that give us gems? Ooh, maybe at the end of this, we're also gonna be able to open up the 800 crate. That'd be kind of dope. Let's get him upgraded here. I think we're gonna be able to do this. So it's 30 waves. They've also changed the um, the pausing the game because there's been glitches with it. So now when you pause the game, I think it takes a bit of time. Like if you come over here in the settings. Oh, you can also tweak the settings in game too. That's really dope. I like that. So if you hit pause, I believe it's gonna take a few seconds because there's been a lot of people doing glitches and getting free wins. If you guys are just glitching to get free wins, you guys are horrible, man. It's so easy to beat all these. Now, I get currently certain maps are actually not even possible to beat on Nightmare, but you guys gotta remember, the reason there's so many crazy towers releasing, Zone 2 is supposed to be so much more difficult than Zone 1. So when Zone 2 drops, think about the towers that we're gonna need to be able to compete in those. Those towers, will make it so it's possible to beat the maps we're currently struggling to beat on nightmare like those those towers will help out with that so new like starter towers from those areas are just going to be so much better than these areas now what i would like for them to do this is the only change that i think they should add into the game you guys might disagree with me if you're in the discord put this in the recommend or request it tell all the mods tell everybody to do this because i think this is really much needed in the game is Obviously, everybody's already have the towers now, but I think you should unlock things in the game, whether it's towers or they should change the map system so that you have to beat every map to unlock the next set of maps. So if you want to get to the like Skylands, you have to meet, beat the map that's before Skylands. You get what I mean? They need. I think they need to make it so that things are unlockable instead of we can just go and hop into any map we want. You get what I mean? Like because then it'll make it so when zone two comes out people can't just jump to that area to get those towers there should be like shops that they walk up to and pull up and it's shops for those designated areas if you're not if you have an unlock zone two then it should be that they have to go and unlock zone two to be able to get zone two towers now that should just be that you have to be every single map in zone one on the normal difficulty now we are on impossible difficulty for this map I actually think we're gonna be able to smoke this map. I think it's gonna be really easy for us. So far, it's kind of a breeze for this to be impossible. Um, I think Cyclops is really clutch for this. If you don't have Cyclops, I still think this is doable without Cyclops. There's certain maps I don't think are doable without Cyclops. Like it's pretty hard to do some of these maps. But I don't know. We're gonna we're have to wait and see. Twenty thousand. Let me get down. Let me get down the first one. Oh, sorry, you can have three? Oh my lord, this tower is way too overpowered, guys. But I mean, it's gonna make sense going into the next area. We're gonna need towers that are like this, man. We're gonna need these type of towers. That is crazy, though. I didn't know these towers were that wild, man. You can have three, so that means you're doing 13,000 damage times three. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. I don't know if this is me, but that is that. That's kind of crazy. It means you're doing what? What is that? 39,000 damage per second? Yeah, 13, 26, 39. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Okay, so. You're gonna get the first upgrade. Boom. This is this is the change. We'll, we'll take a look at it, man. So currently he starts out looking like this. Well, not he, she. Um, but you know, you never know. It's it's 2023. This could also be a male. Um, so kind of starts out really, really short, holding the box. And the box kind of opens up as a beam. I like the animation. It's really, really dope. It is. Whenever it starts to attack, opens up the box. These ones they don't need to open up the box, they just kind of use the eye. I'm assuming opening the box is kind of that extra. Okay, we're gonna need some extra damage here. Really starting to get some struggle in here. We're starting to get a little bit further away. Gonna upgrade him also. Now, 
The damage starts out really bad. It starts out at 50, man. First upgrade puts it to 100. I mean, third upgrade, it jumps to 350. So third upgrade is a lot better. But look at this thing, man. It's kind of like it's coming out of the box. It's like a big cloud, which is really dope. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a really, really cool design. It's not like it's nothing crazy, right? But I think they've done a really great job with this. Now, his next upgrade jumps him up. A lot of damage he does a lot more but it costs 90k so we're not gonna do 90k we're gonna start upgrading the paradox or I said, why do I call it paradox the Pandora's box um, and then it should be We're gonna delete that for now. <laughs> we need this extra money. And what are we? Oh, where are we gonna put them, man? That's it's actually super difficult to find a spot to put them. That's really the best spot I could think. That is hands down the best spot that I could think to put him. Can't even fit another one until you get it back there. Okay, we're gonna max him out. I am gonna keep the hide, not the hide, the, the uh, I'm gonna keep him back there. Regardless of whatever damage he's doing back there, when I max out that Shadow Claw, he should reach across the map. He should. 
Okay, now we have almost all the Cyclops maxed out, so they're gonna be doing a boatload of damage. Now, this guy's 165k health, which is crazy. So that's just those guys, man, alone. That's that's wild. We're gonna get down a Hydra. Actually, I'm gonna max out a Pandora, cause he jumps up to with my pet boost, he jumps up to 8,125 damage. That's not per second. That's a hundred. That is ridiculous. So, bad to see. This is the final upgrade on how he looks. This is wild, man. Absolutely wild. And he does so much damage. He does... This man does 16. Basically, 16 and a half thousand damage per second. Per box. With the pet boost. We got faster killing this thing. It's doing so much damage. They, they stand no chance. Absolutely no chance. Let's get this other Pandora box maxed out. Because now we're making a boatload of money. Now we're, now we're making the money. So let's see what we can do here. Here we go. All Cyclops are maxed out. We can start focusing on him. Now, I still need to figure out where we're going to put the rest of the towers. I'm just clearly going right here in the middle. He's, he's going right here in the middle. He's going to reach the whole map. Um, I still think... This guy is gonna, the, this Shadow Claw is still gonna reach this area. Like, I still think he's gonna reach super, super far. So I'm really not worried about him at all. Okay, it costs 250k for him. His next upgrade. I also still need to get Hydra down. These upgrades are gonna get really expensive. So, when the boss comes out, we're gonna need to start upgrading some things. Very quick, very, very quick. I just down. Everything's kind of crushing everything now the way it should be. Next up is going to put it to 150 range. I mean, think about it. He starts out at 100 range. Shadow Claw is super incredible tower. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do bugs and glitches. Please stop asking me to do that. I'm not glitching to try to win in games and things like that. I don't need to, personally. I get that you guys might do glitches and stuff. I'm taking no part in that at all. Like I have no interest in doing a glitch just so I can place extra towers down. Or so I can place two hydras instead of one. I really don't care, man. It's exploiting the game is what ruins the game. So personally, I'm taking no effect when it comes to none of that stuff. I'm not doing it. You guys can do as you wish. I'm not. I wonder, can you put a tower up top there? Oh, it's super cool because let me see if he reaches it's 150 he gets pretty far he gets really really far 500k come on come on Save up 750k. There we go. There we go, man. We can still get down one more golden dragon. Let's do it. Let's get that one back there. Oh my lord, we're really gonna be able to max with all of these amazing towers. This is insane. You get so much money when it comes to the impossible mode, it's kind of wild. Look at the attack speed that these towers have, man. It's crazy. The attack speed is two instead of one. Which is just ridiculous. I am gonna save for that million. There we go, man, there we go. They're doing so much. 
I'm gonna delete him real quick. I wanna see if I can put him anywhere else, man. I'm talking anywhere else. Just a bit closer, man. That's all I ask. Close enough. That's closer than he was. That's closer than he was. Let's see how we do. I mean, I think we've got the guarantee win. I'm not gonna lie, we're crushing this. We have all these towers down that do so much damage. How much health do these things have? 1.5 million. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know real quick. Hold on, before we even kill the boss. I'm hitting the pause. Okay. You guys see Pandora. This is this is why it's not amazing for a starter tower. I forgot to let you guys know this. If you guys haven't made it this far, you're slacking. You're gonna be missing out on great information. The thing that Pandora does, Pandora's box, it targets the strongest enemy that's walking on the track. So currently the reason the boss has taken so much damage is because as you could see from the beams, they're targeting the boss everything else is targeting this tower here so that's why this tower one is the best tower for fighting bosses but two if you don't have any other towers down they wouldn't be attacking these towers until they killed the boss they would only attack the boss so if something fast is coming through that's gonna do really bad for you so in the beginning when you place them down yes the they're gonna do great they're really cheap to place down but they don't attack anything that's weaker than something else they only attack the highest level things on the track so let's continue here obviously we have so many great other towers here that are gonna do their thing we're still gonna win but as you guys can tell now everything is starting to attack this and the damage difference is kind of crazy let's move them up Yeah, I already know. The win is here. Not like I need to move these up, but you get what I mean, man. Look at that! Let's go! First try on Impossible. I've actually never tried this map on Impossible. I thought it was going to be pretty easy, so we did do it. We ended up getting an egg. We've got enough to open up a crate, so let's go and do these. Let's get these done, man. It's a lot of fun. I hope we get something good. I know I saw a comment somebody asked me. They said, yo, just use Medusa. I don't have every tower in the game, guys. There's still some towers I'm missing and I haven't gotten yet. So you telling me to use certain towers? I haven't got them yet. I, I just have not, um, haven't went and got them done. As you guys can tell, I'm also holding this impossible trophy for the Shadow Claw map. It was incredibly easy map too. It wasn't difficult at all. We went in with trios also, so we beat it in trios. It was really cool. Um, but that was my second map that I beat on Impossible. I haven't tried to do any of the easier maps on Impossible that often. Um, I think I could beat. I think I could beat every map from Jurassic World Impossible. And this is just solo. I'm talking solo. I could beat every single map on that Impossible. Guarantee it. I think I could beat every single map on World Two Impossible. Guarantee it. Egyptian Shadow Run would get me, um, but I think I could beat every other map on Impossible throughout this Egyptian world. This area, I have not beaten any of them. The only map, um, the hardest map I beat so far on Impossible is Shadow Claws map, but it's nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Let's check our pets. Let's check our pets and see what we got, man. Let's see what we get out of this egg. Click on the egg. I want to get that 0.5%. Damn, Warhound. I want to get him, and he looks really, really cool. So let's see what we can get out of this. We really, really want the last two, the 5% and the 10%. I haven't got Medusa, and I haven't got uh, Zeus at all. So I'm still not going to have them. That is lovely. And I still can't move. Uh, it's still a glitch in the game where after you open a crate, at least on console, you can't move. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. I hope this helps you guys out a lot. Um, maybe this kind of give you... 
an easy look as to how good the new tower is and what it's really useful for. Like I said, it chooses who it's like it attacks. It doesn't just attack every single enemy that comes out. It doesn't work like that. So it has a way of it playing. And some of the new towers are going to start to change the way things are. And I think this is really cool. So make sure you guys do hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and click that bell to get notified when I'm uploading, streaming, doing anything on the channel. It'll let y'all know. But that's it, man. It's your boy, Tukujan23. And I'm out, man. Peace.